Hold on. Hold on. You didn't go to rebroadcast, did you? Good. I want to post whatever goes on here. Sorry, Barbara. Let's continue. Yeah, you know, again, Alex, right before uh, guests got on, I read this part, which is just in the second page. Uh, this is a law enforcement ses sensitive information and is protected by the Code of Virginia Title 52-48 and 52-49. Further distribution of this document is restricted to law enforcement agencies, intelligence agencies, and, of course, Department of Defense organizations only. Because you can't let the enemy, the American people, know what's going on, but they can let other governments know. So he and then right here in big, bold letters, it says, no report or segment thereof may be released to any media sources. Well, too bad we have it. It's too bad it's going to be all over the web, and you're going to have to retract this one, too. You're going to have to apologize. And we know that it's not just in Virginia. It's everywhere else. Big time tonight, 9 to 10, just on this 215-page document. Let me a shot of it. It'll say it doesn't exist. Yeah, I know. It can't exist. <laughs> just a totally broad topic. Uh, militia extremists. Here's a, here's the best one. Special interest extremists. Special interest groups, folks. People concerned about abortion. People concerned about the environment. How dare they're terrorist organizations? See, on one hand, the MIAC report doesn't use the term terrorism, but at the same time, demonizes people like Ron Paul, organizations like Campaign for Liberty. This is very broad and openly uses the term terrorism in every case, in every case. And they do a lot of double speak in here. Let me, let me give you an example. It, it's going to be tough for me to jump around. But, for instance, they say terrorism for the purpose of this report is defined as politically motivated violence or threat of violence designed to coerce action or to prevent others from taking intended actions. Now, right there, violence. Ooh. Violence. Right off the bat, violence. But then later in the report, I want to say it is in the 170s, folks. It is hard for me to get there. They admit openly that the majority of the groups mentioned have never used violence. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Huh. So wait a minute. The groups that you're trying to demonize supposedly are violent because in this document, you're saying that all these groups are politically motivated using violence or the threat of violence. But then later in the document, they say, oh, yeah, well, the majority of these groups have never used violence or threatened violence. Ha, 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 Here we go. It's right here. It's, it's the beginning of the conclusion, conclusion on page 197. Okay, so page, I think, uh, page 4, they let you know this for this document, terrorism, for the purpose of this report, is, divine, is defined by politically motivated violence or the threat of violence designed to coerce action or to prevent others from taking intended actions. But right here, <laughs> it says, although a number of international and domestic terrorist organizations have a presence in Virginia, the activities of these groups have been primarily limited to nonviolent activity. And the terrorist organizations they're listing in here, folks, are page 120, the section that I would like, because the technology part is extremely long. Let me read this for you. These... These are direct quotes, folks. Page 120. Internet technology has emerged as the preferred medium for extremist communication and is increasingly being exploited to assist terrorists in achieving their goals. You see, the extremists are on the Internet, and they're helping the terrorists, so they are terrorists. No evidence, no proof, no examples, just lies. And people read this, again, not people, law enforcement officers, intelligence agencies. Department of Defense personnel. This isn't for you and me to know. We're not supposed to know this because they're openly setting up uh, warrantless wiretapping in this country even further than what the Bush administration did. And even uh, Keith Olbermann has to report on it. And uh, it's right here in your face. And, and these are who they're going after us. This is making it very, very apparent they're going after us. The Internet is used to recruit and radicalize supporters to play a more active role in support of terrorist activities or causes. I mean, come on. Give me a break. And that's, that, that is a reference to Fox News' article, Lawmakers Take Aim at Homegrown Terrorist Threat. Remember, we're the terrorists now. They say that uh, they solicit funds on their websites through donations, as well as the sale of various items, including publications and audio and video, visual media. Gee, I wonder who does that. Oh, we do that. That's right. We have seven hours of radio every day. We put out two films at least a year. So we're bad because we're telling the truth? Give me a break. 
And here, here it is right here, folks. Extremist groups are active on web forums, blogs, and social networking sites such as YouTube, MySpace, and, and see they stick IslamTube in there. Like any of us have ever used IslamTube in our lives. Like we knew an IslamTube actually existed. So they put IslamTube in the middle of YouTube, MySpace, and Google Video, and Twitter. And, and ooh, it sends chills down your spine. IslamTube. Give me a... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting angry. All right. These networking venues have also been used to deliver near real-time information online and to cellular phones. God forbid we have real-time info. God forbid we can reach the masses at the drop of a hat, at the snap of a finger. And this is what I was uh, talking about right here, where they really associate protesters with al-Qaeda. I mean, it, this is them. All right, on page 120, Twitter was used as a counter-surveillance command and control and movement tool by activists at the Republican National Convention. The activists would tweet, send messages to, it, to each other, and their Twitter pages to add information on what was happening with law enforcement near real time. And this is out of an article, okay, I kid you not that it is, it's titled, Al-Qaeda-like mobile discussions and potential creative uses. It's Al-Qaeda-like to use your First Amendment, to exercise your freedom, folks, this document continues to be more and more disturbing as I take a closer look at it. We'll be back after this. Call lines 866-582-9933.